planner friends in this video we're going to create what is probably my most favorite halloween themed spread that i've done thus far i really love the way that this thing turned out it's so stinking cute so the first thing that i want to show you here is i created some custom boxes for my planner um, using some cardstock i will show you in detail how i do that here in just a few minutes so i have these boxes that i created and i have a couple of cardstock packs. I think I slow the video down and show you a little bit later, but I have those linked down below so you guys can check those out. So it's Halloween cardstock packs that I picked up from American Crafts and I'm going to use those along with white cardstock to create my own custom boxes. If you guys know me, I've called myself the box lady for years now because it's highly, highly, highly unlikely for you to ever see a spread that I create without a box. <laughs> There's got to be a box. To me, boxes are like, they're cute and they're fun. They're, they're kind of decorative, you know, but they're also super functional and they kind of make things stand out to me. And I typically use them for like priorities or most important things of the day. So I have these boxes and I'm just using some double sided tape here to stick those together. Again, I will go through all of this in just a few minutes in detail. And now that my boxes are created, I'm going to show you these cute little cut files that I found on Etsy. I put them on Cricut Design Space and resized them and then I created them with Cricut with my Cricut so a couple of these the ones with wording actually I don't end up using because I'm a Cricut newbie and I didn't do the correct setting for these so all the letters are separate totally could have used it there's I mean like absolutely could have individually glued each letter down not a problem whatsoever I just didn't want to do it I didn't want to mess with it I was hoping well I should have paid it more attention but I you know, to get the correct setting to where these would actually cut as one like word, you know what I mean? Instead of individual letters. So you'll see them, they're right down there on the bottom. I didn't end up using those, but I did find some cute spider webs and some spiders. And then I found a mummy, a girl mummy, and then a little boy Halloween. I don't really know what he's supposed to be. He looks like he's in a little tux. Anyways, super cute. Found these on Etsy, um, put them through my Cricut, cut them. And we're going to use these inside of my spread. And I know, I knew at the beginning exactly what I wanted to use the little boy for and the little girls. The little boy, and I'll show you this here in a minute, it's going to note my son's Cub Scout meeting and then the little girl mummies are going to be my work schedule for the week. When I first started weeding the money, mummies, I genuinely didn't think it was going to work and I got super sad for a second. And then as I started to pull them off, it all stuck together. What I was afraid of where the cuts are so small was that things would start ripping. You know what I mean? As you was pulling it off. Now the, the blue Cricut mat that I have, this is actually for fabric and it's not very sticky. I actually use this for everything, for vinyl, cardstock, whatever, because I don't like the stickier mats. They, things do, you know, especially if you're using cardstock, things will stint, tend to um, tear on those. So I, I use this one. It's for fabric, I believe. I think the green one with the Cricut is for standard. I have a couple of those and I don't use them. They're just too sticky. Maybe I need to use them more so the stick will go away, but this is the one that I used. Um, and it works out great even for, like I said, for vinyl and stuff. So I love it. And I'm really, 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 really thankful that these mummies turned out so stinking cute. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how I create the box stickers. Just keep in mind, there's tons of ways to do this. This is just how I decided to do it this time. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I create these custom boxes for my planner. So the first thing that I did is I took one of my sticker books, doesn't matter which one you grab, just grab one that has some boxes in it, the same size that you want. And I cut the boxes out just so I could use them as a reference. You don't have to cut them out, but I didn't want to have to set and leave this open because then I risk ripping the pages out. So I just went ahead and cut them. So I've already used this sticker. It's gone. This isn't a sticker anymore. So I just cut it out from there and one from up here. Again, you don't have to cut them out. You can leave them in here. I had a disaster earlier and I knew I was going to end up tearing this page out. So I just cut them out. So I have this. I actually have two of them. I don't even know where the other one is at this point. Oh, there it is. Hello. So we have that one. And then what I did is I just measured these because as you can see, I didn't cut them like right up against the side so I could trace them. But I took my ruler, I lined it up and I measured them and you can see, maybe, I don't know if it'll show, but I took my pencil and I just made a mark where the edge is and then I measured it this way. Same thing, took my pencil, made a mark 
where the edge is. Then I took the back side of a pattern uh, sheet of cardstock. I did the same thing. I just made the lines where they're supposed to be. And then from here, what I do is I cut them. So I've got my paper trimmer out. You're not gonna be able to see this because I'm down here at the bottom, but all I'm gonna do is cut these out. And then before I go any further, Oh, hold on. Never mind. Just kidding. Don't pay attention to me. I'll show you what else I'm doing here in just a second. So there's that. Now I also have a sheet of, where'd it go? Right here. This is just a scrap piece of printer paper that I have. And I'm going to use this to create the inside of this. So let me show you what these smaller ones I made. Here's my pattern paper. And then here's the inside of it, right? So it looks like it's an actual box sticker. And then I'll just take some double-sided tape. I'll adhere this down and boom, I have a box sticker. So to do this part, I took my pattern paper. I measured, I kind of lined this up over here on the side where I want how much like overhang I want and how much of that pattern paper I want to show. So I just kind of did that. And then I took my pencil again, same thing. I'm actually going to use this line right here that I have from earlier that way. And then... We're going to go in at about here for this one. So I know it's hard to see. You guys might not even be able to see my pencil marks on there, but I have pencil marks and it's really, really helpful. So then I take my plain sheet of paper. I'm going to measure this out. So line that up. That line is there. There's probably an easier way to do this, but you know what? This is what I do and this is what works for me. Put that one there and then we're gonna cut them. And then from there, once I get the first one cut, I just start tracing them. So after you get your first one, it becomes really, really easy because then, like I said, you get to trace it. Before I go further, I'm gonna double check and make sure that that looks okay. And it does, I like the way that that looks. So again, I'll continue tracing the plain white on the plain white paper and I'll cut those out and I'll continue to trace the pattern on the pattern paper, wherever that's at, right there. And that's how I create my boxes. And that's how I create boxes. Like I said, I know that there's probably an easier way. You guys are more than welcome to comment down below. Actually, I'm sure somebody will comment down below and let me know. That's totally fine. I'm open to tips or recommendations or quicker processes for things. So go ahead and tell me if there's an easier way to do this. Um, that's just what works for me. And I want to apologize for that sound. I don't know if you guys noticed the little cord that was hanging down. I totally forgot to plug in my mic. I even knocked the cord out of my way and it still didn't register in my brain that... I didn't have my microphone plugged in so that was the sound quality was just of my phone which is not the best it's not the worst but it's not the best so I do want to apologize for that okay the little boy mummy thing whatever that cute little feller is um he is to note my son's Cub Scout meeting that he has and then the girl mummies those are for my work schedule and again I created these little boxes I kind of made the boxes a little bit too big Probably should a little should have went a little bit smaller. I mean, it turns out great. And like I said, this is probably my favorite Halloween theme spread that I've made. So it, it turned out just fine. But they probably could have been a little bit smaller. But that's okay. You live and learn. Um, so that's my, my work schedule and my son's Cub Scout meeting. And then you guys will see me start to kind of place everything just sort of where I want it. And then here I'm going to start gluing everything. To glue, you guys can't see it because I'm doing it off screen, but to glue this stuff, I take a scrap sheet of printer paper that I have and I use it and I lay like the spider web down or whatever and I glue the back of it, flip it over and put it on here. The glue that I'm using is like the clear glue. I think all glue dries clear anymore, right? Unless you get like sparkly stuff. Don't get sparkly glue for this. <laughs> but um, it dries clear, so it doesn't matter if you get a little bit on the front or whatever. But this is just a very time consuming process of gluing everything down. Like I said, it turned out super cute and I absolutely love it, but it just takes a few minutes. So, you know, this is where I recommend turning on some music or watching one of your favorite shows, 
watching Ashley's YouTube videos and uh, just kind of planning it out and sitting down and gluing all these things together. Now I did leave mine overnight. You don't have to leave it that long. Um, this was like 1130 at night when I filmed this. So once I was done with it, I just let it dry overnight and everything's, you know, today everything's still on there. All is well. Nothing's nothing. The pages aren't like sticking together. So just make sure everything dries really, really good. So your pages don't start sticking together and you don't run the risk of ripping things off. So like I said, from here, it's just kind of sticking everything down with the glue. And then here in just a few minutes, you guys will see me add the box stickers in and then also some fun, really, really cute washi tape. For the washi I'm using, I got it from American Crafts and I'll have it linked down below. So I actually got two little um, things of Halloween washi tape. And so down below it's labeled washi tape one and washi tape two. Washi tape number two is gonna take you to this specific set of washi tape that I'm using for this spread. But I do have both of them. They're both super duper cute. I love them. They're really, really good washi tape really cute designs on them so if you guys want to check those out and get those and add them to your collection they are linked down below again i got them from americancrafts.com um so here in just a minute you're going to see me using some washi tape and i'm going to start layering it over these boxes and i am so so sorry i did not realize i was this much off the screen when i was filming along the way i've probably pulled the blue mat that I used back or something, but I was really, really off. So here for a minute, you're not gonna be able to see very well, and I'm sorry, I will show you the full spread um, towards the end, and you'll kind of see it in and out here, but um, really love this washi tape. Um, it turned out super cute. Oh, the other roll that I have, it's it's the one that says October, just repeats October. That one I got from Heidi Swap. So that'll be linked down below in the description box as well if you guys wanna check it out. She has some really cute Halloween products too, so. And so does American Crafts. Um, like I said, American Crafts is where I got that cardstock pack at, two of them. Really, really super cute. They have some other cute Halloween themed things on there so you guys can check that stuff out.
Okay, it's the next day. I got my photos taken for Instagram and the photo taken for the thumbnail. And here, I mentioned this earlier, this is where I show you those two packs that I have. Now, in the links, I could only find a 12 by 12 pack. I couldn't find the other ones on there, so I do apologize for that. But scour around, type in different words down in the search bar. Type in like spooky, cardstock, paper pad, Halloween, like use all the different words, okay, to search for those. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and fill in my planner. I usually don't show this process, but I like, um, I'm going to start doing that more often because I know you guys like to see that. I like watching planner babes fill in their planners. It's so, it's, I just love it. So I hope you guys like it too. But the sheet that's laying off to the left that has the squad girls on it, that's a pre-planning sheet that I started working on and I'm using it as a guide. Now it's Wednesday <laughs> because I have my life together. I'm finally filling in my planner on a Wednesday. Seriously, y'all have done this on like a Friday before. Um, so it happens just to let y'all know. So whenever I was filling in Monday and Tuesday, I kind of went back through and wrote down some of the things that I had gotten done um, on those two days. And then, oh my gosh, I'm yawning. I'm so sorry. That was inappropriate. <laughs> Oh, that's just how it goes though, right? So anyways, I went back through on those two days, filled in the stuff that I completed, and then from there it was just kind of filling in the rest of it. As the week progresses, you know, I will start filling in my planner more, but you guys will notice come Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, since I work those three days in a row, um, it's going to get pretty blank. You know, I might not be much on there. The main thing it might say is wash scrubs, wash scrubs, wash scrubs. <laughs> or pack bag, pack lunch, you know what I mean? Like it's just work related items. Um, so you guys will notice that. But the beginning of the week, it, it'll be a little bit more filled in. So, as I was putting my planner back on the discs, I realized I did this on the wrong freaking week. I literally planned, created this super cute spread that I love so much on the wrong week. Ooh, that drives me crazy. Okay, so here's how we're going to fix this. Initially, I was going to create some cute little circles on my Cricut and, um, print out some white letters and stuff or white numbers I mean for the dates and I was like no that's too complicated let's just do some stamping so here I'm pulling out everything for stamping and I was showing you guys that when I wipe off my stamps I use a baby wipe and then the ink that I'm using is distressed oxide and I do have all of the distressed oxide inks I got from Heidi Swap so that's the link down below they're cheaper to order them from Heidi Swap than it is from Amazon and then I do have a couple of other inks one of them is um, archival ink. If you guys are into stamping, that's the one to use for like on photos or on vellum, on things like that because it'll actually stay on there. This ink doesn't stay on there, it smears. But this is, I love this ink. It works really, really good on like paper and cardstock and stuff. So that's the ink that I'm using. And I'm just gonna stamp the dates on here. You guys will see it at the end. It turned out really, really cute. And I didn't end up retaking the photos either for Instagram. So. What's happening over here on YouTube is a little bit different on Instagram. But have you guys ever done that? Like planned on the wrong week. When I, I mean, I just, I don't even know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. That was the problem. But that's okay. It is fixable. Most mistakes we make inside of our planner are fixable. Whether it's with a sticker, it's with some whiteout and some stamps. Um, it's, you know, whatever we got to do, we can make it work.
on the week that this should have been planned on, I put a sticky note in there to remind myself like, hey, Ashley, the dates are wrong because you messed this all up. Like, let's not mess this up multiple weeks in a row. So I got my little sticky note reminder on there. That way next week when I sit down to plan, I can remember that the dates are wrong on it because if not, I probably wouldn't have caught it either. Um, but anyways, this is my completed spread. Like I said, I think that this is genuinely my favorite Halloween theme spread that I've done. It's got me excited. I think it's super, super cute. So let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. Again, everything that I used is linked down below in the description. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.